Hollywood actors have joined screenwriters for the first dual strike since 1960. This comes after more than a month of talks over a new contract that broke down. We should note some CBS News staff are SAG actor members, but they work under a different contract than the actors and are not affected by the strike. CBS News reporter Marcy Gonzalez reports. No contract, no actors! For Hollywood actors like Evan Shafrin, this is real life. I'm in the new Barbie movie, for instance. I'm in the trailer uh, with Margot Robbie fingerprinting her. I only made a couple hundred bucks that day. I don't make any royalties. I don't make anything off the streaming. And the strike is having a ripple effect. In New York, film and TV production employs 185,000 people. In Georgia, the industry brings in nearly $4.5 billion in direct spending. And in California, it provides 600,000 jobs and $70 billion in wages. Production has now halted on several film projects, including sequels to franchises like Deadpool, Venom, and Gladiator. Actors want residuals for streaming and accuse the alliance of motion picture and television producers of being greedy. So the jig is up, AMPTP. We stand tall. You have to wake up and smell the coffee. Variety Cynthia Littleton says there is a new reality. With the changes driven by technology, the profit potential for Hollywood is incredibly challenged right now. LA is a union town. Some CBS News staff are sag after members, but they work under a different contract than the actors and are not affected by the strike. Stars like young Sheldon Zoe Perry support those here who are barely scraping by. We are asking for just what is fair, you know, for people to just survive in this industry. Normally busy studios like Warner Brothers could be shut down for months. No new talks are scheduled. And it's not just actors and writers who are impacted. Those who work in catering, costumes, makeup, so many behind the scenes people are now out of work. Catherine? Marcy Gonzalez, thank you for your reporting.